Oh, Disney Star Wars. That's where you've been hiding. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to another episode of Ord's Board. Today, we are taking a look at the Mandalorian. That's right, guys. So uh, Disney Plus finally launched. Um, the Mandalorian is out. I have watched the first episode, uh, as many, many others have. So here we are with the Mandalorian, guys. Uh, proof, proof that Disney can do Star Wars correct. John Favreau, way to go, guys. Knocked it out of the park with this. Uh, Mandalorian is is a great nod to uh, American Westerns. It is a great nod to Star Wars. It is a great adventure so far. Now, I'm, and who's to say what's going to happen down the road? Uh, we've only had one episode, so let's not get too excited. However, uh, very excited for this, guys. Uh, and just so you guys know, this is a non-spoiler review of the uh, the episode. So, episode one uh, launched at Disney+, Plus. which, by the way, let's talk a little bit about Disney+, Plus because I feel like there's a lot to be said about what's going on <laughs> at on Disney+. Plus. Uh, for those of you who don't know, as, as far as I can tell, there is a free uh, trial for everybody. It is a seven-day free trial, um, and we are getting the second episode of The Mandalorian this Friday. So whether you you know start your free trial today or later on in the week, you're going to get at least two episodes of it. And I don't know how long they're going to be doing free trials for. And with the free trial, obviously you have to put in your credit card information, and if you don't cancel within that seven days, then they charge you for it. But to be honest, guys, you're going to do this, and you're not going to want to... You're not going to want to cancel it. <laughs> i got to be honest. All right, so yeah, guys, Disney Plus. Uh, there is so much going on on Disney Plus. Uh, for a man of 33 years old going on 34, there is so much nostalgia. I feel like Disney Plus took some real care in deciding what they were going to launch first. Uh, with that being said, I do think that maybe out of the gate, Disney Plus, they put some real gems out there really early, and it is surprising to see that Disney did this with these uh, old entities you know, that I watched when I was a kid. You're talking bonkers. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the, the cartoon Bonkers, but it's about a uh, basically some kind of cat, and he's a police officer. So, yeah, love it. Um, what else do they have on there, guys? they got all kinds of stuff. Boy Meets World, you know, for uh, a guy who's 33 years old, I mean, that was, that was the show to watch back in the day. Uh, so there are a lot of gems. I feel like they really directed this towards uh, you know everybody. There's stuff for the the kids to love on there. Uh, there's stuff for adults to love on there who used to watch when they were kids. Uh, I mean, they've even got their own section, Mickey Through the Years, which is amazing. I mean, you're talking about the Steamboat Willie stuff all the way up to to new stuff, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, you know, all that stuff. Super super cool. Way to go, Disney. Disney Plus, I'd say, is a hit. I think it's over 10 million subscribers now. For the uh, service, again, guys, there's the free trials going on. Um, and to be honest, $6.99, guys, it's not that expensive a month. Yes, I understand that with the streaming service and things like that, uh, it's a little difficult to uh, get into, you know, uh, six different streaming services. It's you got the cable bill, uh, which comes in one, and now you have to pay for five different, you know, services, uh, and they come out, you know, randomly throughout the month. So yeah, it is difficult with the, all these streaming services, but I do feel like so far this streaming service is totally worth the six ninety nine. Um, <laughs> it was funny. I was trying to watch The Mandalorian, and I, I like found myself spending like an hour looking through Disney Plus, seeing what they have before I even got to The Mandalorian, and I just wanted to get to The Mandalorian. But yeah, anyway, uh, super cool. Disney Plus is awesome. Uh, I'm liking it so far, uh, as well as I'm sure a lot of other people are. Um, I mean, there's gargoyles on there, guys. The list does not end. Um, I think you will be very satisfied with the the choices they have on Disney Plus. With that being said, into The Mandalorian, guys. This is such an amazing nod to uh, westerns, and I don't even really like westerns to be honest with you. Uh, but there was so much; it felt so like there was so much Star Wars in this uh, show that it was it was worth it, man. I mean, it really it really was worth it. I hear a lot of people saying that you know they they think that this should have been Boba Fett. I don't I don't necessarily think so. I think that looking into a, a Mandalorian other than Boba Fett, like they did in like the Clone Wars and the uh, Rebels and all that. I think it's a really great thing to do, uh, add more characters to it. I mean, yes, Boba Fett is great. I'm not knocking Boba Fett by any means. He's an amazing character. I love him. But this is a different type. You know, he's still he's he's got that badass attitude uh, that Boba Fett had, but it's 
it's a different person. We're diving more into the mythos of Mandal- uh, Mandalore, the planet Mandalore and the Mandalorians, which is super cool. You get to see some really fun stuff uh, in this episode. Uh, it, it, it just, a lot of action. I don't even know where to start, guys. I honestly don't know where to start this review because there was just so much in this episode uh, that led up to this great moment at the ending. Um, leaving people a, a bit confused. Um, if you guys want, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen it. We could do like a spoiler uh, review of it because I'd really love to like get get you guys involved in a conversation about uh, you know the the end of that. Uh, you know, I, I find it very fascinating that uh, within this, I want to say it's maybe like forty minute episode. Uh, there's more Star Wars in this forty minute episode than there are in some of the movies. To be honest with you guys, uh, this show flows very well. Um, I like where it takes you. Uh, again, it, it doesn't feel like with the like like you guys see here the the cantina scene uh, that they have in this. It doesn't feel like they're ripping off the cantina scene from any of the other movies or anything like that. Um, it, it, the tone is is nice. The flow is good. Uh, I really like the character. Um, Disney, uh, I think Disney gets something right here for the simple fact. Like, we'll use Darth Maul as an example. Okay, guys, we'll talk a little bit about Darth Maul here and how, you know, for a character who had maybe, what, two lines in the entire movie, uh, the episode one, Phantom Menace, maybe two lines, maybe even one line. um, The way they can draw you into a character without speaking. That's one thing I really like about Darth Maul is the fact that, like, he became popular and he was... He was very convincing without having really any any lines in the in in the movie. So uh, with this same concept, you have the Mandalorian who hardly has any lines in, in this episode, but really draws you in. You can't take your eyes off him. This does feel like it's got a lot of like uh, kind of Clone Wars writing vibes to it, uh, the animated series where there's a lot of like. Uh, not, not say mystic element to it, but uh, that you know a wondrous feel to it, uh, kind of like when you're watching Clone Wars the animated series. I feel like as the the series continues, we're going to uh, see some really cool upgrades for the Mandalorian, his armor. I think we'll see some cool things like that um, as the series progresses. Um, I can't wait to see episode two, and I'm going to rewatch episode one tonight, actually, just so I can soak it all in and really get the feel for it. But anyway, guys, uh, again, leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys have seen it, what you guys think. Um, if there if there's anything you guys think they could have done better, uh, if it was perfect, just let me know in the comments below, guys. Had a great blast with The Mandalorian. This is my non-spoiler review of The Man- uh, Mandalorian. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of sporadic and, and out there, and, and and but whatever, man. I was just really excited to talk about this. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video if you guys did like this video please hit the like button below hit the bell for notifications make sure you select all and hit the subscription button guys that would help me out greatly uh and if you guys haven't signed up for disney plus i don't know what the hell you were waiting on get to it folks anyway guys thank you so much for taking a look at this video guys uh thank you for sticking with me through this whole video uh you know i appreciate it very much and uh, i love all of you guys we will catch you on the other side peace